June 20, okay. An American Red Cross paper. Dearest Mother, it's been a pretty long time since I wrote last, but not too much has happened. The only thing you would be interested in is the fact that after I was discharged from that Navy hospital, I returned to my company four days later, still on the front lines. A Jap opened up on us as we were digging foxholes late in the afternoon with a 20 millimeter anti-aircraft gun. Now that sort of mm. makes it sound like it was pretty quick from the time you got back to the time I, you got wounded. Yeah, okay. Turning anti-aircraft guns against ground troops shows you how desperate they are. Anyhow, like a fool, I fell in the hole and stuck my head out to try and see where he was firing from. One of the shells hit in the, in the loose dirt right under my left hand. We had dug a pretty good hole, and there was a lot of wet dirt there. So all I got out of it was a bloody nose, a piece of rock stuck in my chin, and an eye full of mud, and of course a headache to beat all headaches. This time, I'm in an army hospital. They picked the mud and specks of rock out of my eye, fixed my chin, and so tomorrow I again go back to my company and front line. Oh, my June this is 21. June 20. Yeah. That what happened for two weeks then? Yeah, a week and a half or something. It sounds yeah. to me like you're in an army hospital. Now, well, I might have been really dogging it. <laughs> 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 Limping or whatever. Milking it. Oh, I don't know. Well, it's okay. Right. Now, your official report said, now this is from a letter that you wrote home after you were back on Guam. Yeah. The official report said, foreign matter removed from cornea. Oh, yeah. Which tells me that, you know, maybe you hurt your eye pretty good. I, I don't remember that, Lee, at all. Yeah, okay. I can't imagine oh. him sending a guy with stuff in his eyes back to the front in the same day. You okay from that letter? Why it says mud in my eye, on yeah. my face, in my chin, whatever. What I remember is inside my mouth because I was. I can remember bleeding and not knowing what yeah. was. I can remember the warm feeling in my mouth, kind of a. Huh. Slime that was coming out, and people telling me how terrible I looked. And yeah. yeah, they wanted me to lie down on a stretcher, and I didn't because I was not that all bad. Yeah, I knew I wasn't that bad, but uh, is um, I don't remember my eye being in a problem. I really don't. Okay. I, at this time in my life. Yeah. If I had any problem with my eye, good Lord Almighty, with my photography and so on. Yeah. <laughs> work, but I don't remember huh. at that time. You what happened between... Okay. That's strange. Now, there's another thing in here that makes me think that maybe this makes sense. Because in between here, when we went through all the notes about where your unit was, between the 9th and, say, the 19th, none of it sounded familiar to you. That was when they were on Motobu Peninsula, and you were in uh, the group was in Chiwa, and Hill 28, yeah. and Hill 53, and Mazado, and none of those names seemed to mean anything to you. Anymore. That's right. You suppose I was punchy and didn't know how long? That's you what I'm wondering. I don't remember. Because I remember no. you saying you were punchy enough when you were first injured to not yeah. be able to tell them that you weren't hurt that seriously or something. Yeah. Or maybe just, uh, you know, 40 years of, of no, well, memory No, well, I have pretty vivid memories of the times and the progression of things that happened. Yeah. yeah. But I sure have a great big void where that, between those two days. Huh. Boy, I wonder if I wonder if they keep medical records for forty-five. Years. I don't know. That'd be sort of fun to go back and see. <laughs> uh, Barry still howling at the moon, you know. <laughs> right? Yeah. Was I was I still incapacitated? I wonder. For a week and a half or two weeks. It's sort of the same. 